Roger, 5. Lincoln, Charles Edward, 12 is 3 minutes ETA. Box in the suspect and hold the perimeter. Copy, Charles Edward, 12. Listen, you heard what he said. And I'm not buying it. It's a retaliation, Chili. Then let it happen. Let them kill each other. Bang, 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 and we come in and clean up. End of story. That's exactly what they expect. I can't believe you're listening to his shit. He's a CI. What difference does it make? He's a paid criminal informant. He'll say anything to cover his own ass. Fuck you, man. His handler was shot dead tonight. How do we know he didn't set up the hit? That's bullshit. You saw the sheet. This kid, Michael Pipps, had priors. He found out Jacobs was undercover, picked up a 9mm, and took matters into his own hands. You're wrong! You're wrong! He set up shit, man. There was somebody else in that park. Somebody playing on the other side, one of your boys. You witnessed this? Man, Michael didn't know your boy was an undercover. When he found out, he freaked, man. He wasn't about to kill no cop, man. A couple minutes later, somebody came in, cut Jacob down. Now he's trying to pin it on a rival gang. Who was the shooter? I sent another word to I speak to the DA. He doesn't know shit. Look, our job is to stop this from escalating. He killed a cop. He's got a target painted on him from every officer in the field right now. Charles Edward 12, be advised. Suspect vehicle is pinned, but there is movement within the perimeter. We've got paramedics. Shepard! Rescue 1 6, we have two. Repeat, two GSWs. What is your ETA? Was it him? Was it Pips? No. What's the status, Detective? He's gone. SWAT's on their way. What's their ETA? They're still 10 minutes out. Tell them there's plain clothes within the perimeter. Whoa, what are you thinking? I'm going in. Hey, wait for SWAT, man. We don't know how many shooters are in the vicinity. I mean, this kid doesn't have 10 minutes, all right? Shepard, I can't let you do this, hey, man. You want to stay, Briggs, you stay. Hold on! You're not seriously going in there, are you? He's my partner. Listen, you're our eyes and ears. You maintain radio silence unless you see movement on our position. You got it? Yep. You know we're here. Be smart. All right. We need to make a move to the warehouse. What? Hey, listen to me. Break every light you've got on that tree line. Every light you've got on that tree line right now. Good, don't stop. You keep those lights moving. You
And I ain't do this. I ain't kill that fucking cop. Drop the fucking gun, Michael. We have you surrounded. Michael, I'm coming out. Michael! Michael! Hey! Hey, I'm unarmed! I just want to talk. I ain't kill a fucking cop. But I ain't do this. We're here to help you. Put the weapon down, Michael, now! Hey! Hey! Eyes on me, Michael! Eyes on me! Okay? Tell your boy to put his gun there. That's not gonna happen, Michael. Everybody, calm down! Just lower your weapon, Briggs. No way. Briggs, do it, motherfucker! No Michael, way. we're not here to hurt you. I promise, I give you my word. We're not here to hurt you. Let's just talk. He's one of them, isn't he? Just you and me. No, he's not. He's fucking one of them, isn't no, he? No, he's not. He's been with me all night. We're here to get you out. You understand me? I just need you to tell me what you saw tonight. Cop! I saw fucking cops! You saw cops on 6th Street? That's what I said! Okay. All right. Back it down, detective. How many cops did you see, Michael? I saw three of them. All right. You saw three cops. Can you identify them? Stand down, detective. Lower your weapon. Look at him, Michael. He's, he's lowering his gun. All right? He's lowering his weapon. Lower your weapon, Briggs. Now, I need you to tell me if you can identify these cops. Yeah, I seen them before. OK. All right, that's good. Who else knows about this, Mike? Man, tell me. Hey, hey, listen to me. If there's somebody out there that can back up your story, we need to get them into protective custody. Look, we've got a car standing by, all right? We're not going to bring you in here. We're going to take you to the feds, the FBI, Michael. They're going to take you into protective custody. No one's going to get near you. You're going to be safe. I need to know who else do we need to protect. No. I'm the only one left. Suspect in custody. Michael! Drop the gun! Michael, go! No, Michael, no! Drop the gun! Look at you! No, no, wait a minute! We've got five dead bodies in the last 24 hours. This could be the worst case of retaliation violence this city's ever seen. Is that guy now? Not yet. But we've only got a few hours till the press gets wind of it. All right. So what are you thinking, Counsel? There's no way to justify their actions in the field tonight. Someone has to take the fall for this. Is that the official position of the district attorney? Just to be clear, nothing leaves this room until it's been blessed by our office. What's your take on Shepard? He's been on the job for 30 hours straight with no sleep. It'll be easy to break.
Are you ready to begin? You know the drill, Detective. Tell us what happened out there tonight. What difference does it make? Hmm? The difference between you losing your badge and going to prison for criminal misconduct. No matter what I say, you're going to spin it exactly the way that you want. Exactly the way it's been done here a hundred times before. What was that? I know what you do with the facts when they don't match the story you want to tell, right? You change them or you ignore them. Keep it up, detective. You're just hanging yourself. Yeah, man. Tell us what you know. During the course of the initial investigation into the shooting deaths of Officer Chris Jacobs, we interviewed his partner, Detective Evans. He gave us the name of a paid criminal informant who eventually led us to the suspect. He placed an APB at approximately 2,200 hours? Yes, sir. And several patrol officers reported spotting the suspect and engaged in pursuit. They were able to box him in at Front Street. Based on preliminary reports submitted by patrol officers Lerner and Kaminsky, they were attacked by an assailant. Did you witness this, Detective? A firefight did ensue. The criminal informant was shot and killed in the crossfire. Detective Shepard and I then pursued the suspect into the warehouse area cornered him. We attempted to talk him into surrendering even after he had fired upon us. At which time uniformed officers fired upon the suspect, fatally injuring him only after all attempts to disarm him had been exhausted. What are we missing, Detective? Sir. We wish it was that simple. It wasn't that clean, was it, Detective? You would look like ball while I'm taking you down myself, you understand me? You want to put me on the stand? Go ahead. So I'll tell him everything. But you don't want that, do you? Right? You can't control it. It's not the image that the department wants to present to the public. You're burnt out, Shepard. We could all see that. Is that why you did what you did? I have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea what we're talking about. Well, we got a sworn statement from your partner here. And it says different. There's no way. Go ahead, read it. His debrief ended hours ago. Why do you think that is? Let me help you out, Detective. Why don't you start by telling us how Detective Evans wound up with two bullet holes in his head? One self-inflicted and one not. You were the first guy at the scene. Sir, I can only comment that during the course of our investigation, we encountered what could only be described as a theory of potential conspiracy involving individuals from within our own department. No way. This is a setup, and you know it. You're out of line. Every one of those men is dead tonight because of us, and for what? The reason we're here is to find the truth. <laughs> the truth, Captain? Those suspects had a target painted on their back from every officer in the field. We caused this! We caused this! Detective? This is our fault. Start from the beginning. Don't leave out a single detail. This is your only shot. Your apartment's going down. There's nothing we can do to stop that now. But you, you don't have to join them. There's only one way out that door. Time to come clean. My partner, Detective Shepard, and I received the first call at 1800 hours. There had been an apparent shooting down at the 6th Street Park. That's deep within gangland. Who's gangland? The Vice Lords. Now they run all the streets 
in between 16th and Fairfax. Nobody goes in and nobody comes out without being affiliated with that crew. Preliminary reports indicated that it was indeed a gangland homicide. The wealthy street boys had been seen in the area and there had been a series of shootings in the past couple of weeks. Our initial instincts told us that it was a retaliation shooting that resulted from a prior incident. Looks like we got a break in the rain. Yeah, give it 10 minutes. Johnson, what do you have? Victims of white male, late 20s, early 30s, took multiple GSWs to the head and chest. Uh, chop that up. How many does it make? Three in three weeks. First on scene? It was sir. Did you ID the victim? Not yet. No wallet, no cash. Strip clean. Detectives? We got over two dozen spent shell cases. They're all nine millimeters. We also got tread marks from what could have been the shooter's vehicle heading out of the park. How long before you get the results on the treads? I'll be uploading the photos within the next 24 hours, but it'll still take a couple of days to get a positive match. All right, well, show me this kid, and maybe we can shop a photo on him. Watch your step. Took hits from all sides. Not very pretty what's left of him. Pull it back. Cover it up. Hey, what's up? Do you know this guy? He's one of our shit. Lock it down now! you to separate your emotions from the job at hand to build up a tolerance to it. But when it's someone you know, Talk to me, detectives. What are we looking at? Got a positive ID on our victim. It's one of ours. Jesus Christ. Who is it? Detective Chris Jacobs was an undercover worked in vice. What was he doing down here? Uh, we don't know yet. Set up a four-block perimeter. No one's getting in and out of this place until we know what happened. We've also got what appears to be a blood trail that leads from here to just outside the warehouse. We think Jacobs got off a few rounds with a backup piece before he went down, because whoever our suspect is, he's hurt and he's bleeding. Yeah, we notified local hospitals, clinics, guy goes for help. We got him. Listen to me. Somebody shot one of ours. It's your responsibility to bring him to justice at all costs. Do you understand me? All right, then. Let's get these guys. Hey, Lieutenant, Jacob's had a wife. I'll take care of it. With all due respect, sir, I know her. I'd like to be the one. All right, detectives. It's all part of the job, you know? 
Yeah, this is the hard part of what we do. How do I tell her that? You want me to go in with you? No. Thanks, man. I, I know her. She sees us both go. She'll know. in here. It's been forever. Come in, come in. Chris isn't back yet, but I'm expecting him any minute. He's going to be so excited to see you. How are you? You want to stay for dinner? No, I can't. Um, Tracy, listen. What? Something wrong? Tell me he's okay. He's okay. Rick, what is he? Jacobs for over six years. He was like a brother to me and a damn good cop. But when he got transferred to Vice, he got partnered with Evans. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stick to the facts, detective. We're not looking for any color commentary. Everyone on the force knows he's a fucking joke. A burned out, drunk, raging alcoholic just pissing time away until he got his pension, and you fucking guys stick Jacobs with him. Are you finished? Then let's continue. Your assignment was to pursue the suspect, track him down, and bring him into custody. That's exactly what we attempted to do. Okay. You tell me why an undercover would go into gangland with no backup. We're investigating his actions. His actions didn't make any sense, Captain. Before we could do anything else, we needed to find out what was going on. There's a cop bar on Division and 8th called Eddie's. Detective Evans was known to frequent the place. <laughs> Cocktails? Come on, sugar tits, keep up with me here. God damn it. Let's go, sir. Keep up. I'd love to, but I have a feeling you might have a problem getting your little whiskey dip. 
brown rocks. One for my friend, too. Ah, oh, come on, Sarah. What are you doing to me, girl? Oh. What is this? I got a hole in my glass? Better than a hole in your head. What'd you say? Do I know you? No, but we know you, Detective Evans. Who are you guys? Oh, you guys are IAD? And this is a cop bar, and I am off duty. You want to talk to me, you do it when I'm on the clock with my union rep present. Other than that, you can kiss my ass. You got it wrong, Jack. We're not IAD, we're homicide. Oh, oh well, what can I do for you, detectives? We're investigating the shooting death of Chris Jacobs. Partner. It's a fucking joke. No joke. Your partner was found shot to death at the park down on 6th Street. What the fuck? What was he doing there, detective? No, oh, this isn't right. This one's supposed to go down. The meet was scheduled for Friday. What meet? Oh, this is not right. Hey, Evans, focus. What meet? What were you working on? We were assigned to a joint task force investigating some small-time drug traffickers. There's nothing bust. All right? Uh, we had a paid criminal informant to set up a meet and greet with the players for Friday night. Why was the meet moved up? No way he would have gone in without backup. Not no much way. backup if your partner's face down in a bar. What? His partner's a drunk. He kept fucking things up, so better go in alone and chance in having the bus get tossed because you're a deadbeat. Fuck you, asshole. I done my time in this shithole. Asshole. You want to drink yourself into oblivion? Let's go! Uh, Reporter with the CI and then let him hang for your bullshit! I didn't know! Now, who was the informer? Give me your name! Uh, What's his name? Tito, his name's Tito. Where do I find him? I don't know, it's Jacob's guy. Bullshit, you cocksucker! Bullshit! God damn it. Where is he? God damn it, you're out of control, right? Get the fuck back! Uh, 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 your partner's way out of control. Way out of line. Pick yourself up. Way out of line. Oh, God. Hey, oh. you listen to me, you oh. son of a bitch. Jacobs is dead because of you. The only thing standing between you and that maniac out there is me. And you tell me every goddamn thing you know. I swear to God, there's nothing I can do to prevent him from coming back and finishing you. You don't think you were a little bit over the line there? It was the only way, Lieutenant. Come on, you know when a cop screws up, they shut down, go into automatic cover-up mode because they need to justify their actions or they're finished. We needed that information. Who was the CI? Tino. His name was Tino. Been playing on the streets his whole life. He was taking money from both sides of the fence. We hit his house, he wasn't there, so the waiting game began. Yeah, like I thought. There's no record of you requesting a warrant to enter his premises. He was a paid criminal informant. We weren't there to arrest the guy. And what if you had stones upon evidence? It would have been completely inadmissible in court of law. He was our only chance of finding the suspect. Did you trip your entire investigation? No, it was a judgment call. There's a cops, you remember how to make those? Put yourselves in the same place at the same time, you wouldn't have done anything different. Scott was our only chance at finding the shooter. What time do you got? 12.30. Oh, man, it's been two hours. How long do you want to wait for this guy? Last call's not till 1.45. Well, that's if he's at a bar. What? 
I didn't need you to pull me out tonight. I had Evans by myself. Yes, you did. You were completely out of control. Hey, what's your problem? My problem is that I can't have you go off half-cocked until we find this guy. He killed a cop. We've got half the department looking for him right now. And that pretty much frees us up, doesn't God it? God damn it, Briggs. <sighs> you know, just listen to me for a minute, okay? What? My first year on the job. Working the B team on the west side of town. Ran into a gang-related homicide just like this one. I'm a rookie, so I just follow the team lead. But we knew who the shooter was. Instead of bringing him in, we decided to let things escalate. Street justice. Let the animals kill each other, and we come in with the body bags. Make life easy, right? Yeah, that's about right. That one didn't take long. Rival gang gunned him down right away. Street justice. <laughs> we let the streets clean themselves up, right? So, uh, you know what we didn't count on? All the people that were to go down right after. A dozen. Four of them dead. Including a six year old girl. What a ricochet to the back of the head. She was playing in her backyard. For what? Some bullshit that we allowed to happen. Your point, detective. My point is that you and I don't have to let this happen again. He was my partner, Shepard, so if you're not up for the task, you better think about calling you it a night. You need to cool off, Briggs. You need to cowboy. officers, Tino. The fuck are you doing in my house? You know what? You're right. Let's take a walk. I can't believe you. That's not cool, man. It's not cool, man. What the fuck is... What the fuck is all this about? This ain't how it's supposed to be Your played, handler's man. handler's dead, Tino. What? Detective Jacobs was found shot and killed at the park down on 6th Street. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't, I don't know nothing about this shit. Listen here, you motherfucker. You got 10 seconds to tell me what you know, and we're gonna take you out that door and parade you around gangland in the most obvious unmarked police car this city's ever seen. I'm talking lights, sirens, the whole shebang, so everybody, every fucking gangbanger in this city knows where you get your cash. Hold on, hold on. I can help you, man. We're listening, Tino. I can help you. Just give me a few days, man. I'll get word from the streets. Circle around a little You're bit. You're not listening to me, Tino. A suspect is out there that shot and killed a cop, and you're the only one that knows why he was in the park. Now, your 10 seconds is almost up. I don't know. Wrong answer. Let's go. Looking for a dirty cop. What'd you say? I was looking for a dirty cop, man. Jacob told me not to talk to nobody. And since I don't know neither of you, I ain't saying shit. Right. Let's go. What do we have here, detective? These guys, Tino? Really? You sure? Them? That's them right there? Fuck y'all, man. This is bullshit. Fellas! Guys! Recognize Tino? Come around, take a look. Say hi, Tino. He wants to say hi. Come on, give him a smile, man. Yeah, that's him. This is bullshit, man. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Looks like your cover's blown, Tino. Now you're thinking, Tino. Now you're thinking. It's fucked up. Get the 
go. Let's go. Let's go. Take it easy. Come on, man. Take it easy, man. Take it easy on this. Shit. Right? What the fuck is the matter with you? What's happening? Now, Jacob told me not to talk to nobody from local PD, man. He said the sheriff and the feds only, man. Why would he say that? And he ain't know who he could trust within the department, man. You guys got some dirty shit going down, man. He ain't know how high up it went. What the hell was he doing at 6th Street? It was this kid, man, he heard about from his partner, man. This young fighter. Golden Glove, man. Real tough, man. Sharp with his hands. Yeah, what about this kid? What makes him important? That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. This kid's a stone-cold brawler, man. <laughs> so a group of these cops, they go through a couple of his fights, man. They pick him up on a couple bullshit assault charges. They flip them, man. They make him an offer. <laughs> this kid knows people from both gangs, man. Nobody was going fuck with him, man. They figured he was money, man. He'd get on, they could ride him. Skip to the point, Dino. So get this, man. These cops, they know every drug house in town. They know where the money stash. They know when the product's coming in and going out. The problem is they don't have any evidence to present to the judge to get warrants. And when they do get the warrants, it's too late. The shit is gone. So they decide to take matters into their own hands. They hire this young fighter as an enforcer. <laughs> Picture this, man. Young fighter running down division. Hooking and jabbing. He ducks behind the house, pulls down his mask, pistol on his hip. Kicks in the door, beats the shit out of everybody. This motherfucker brutal, man. I know it sounds like some bullshit, but it's for real, man. A few minutes later, he got the shit, man. A couple seconds after that, he back out on the street sprinting, man. Drugs, the money, you name it, man. And up the block, the cop car, side window down, he runs, tosses it in the back. Bam. Right back on division, man. Hooking and jabbing, man. Going for a little morning cardio. Running right down the riverside. It was seamless, man. You know nobody don't report that kind of money missing. You seriously expect us to believe this bullshit? It's the truth, man. This kid took down 20 or 30 scores. Now, if everything you're telling us is the truth, why would they want him killed? The boys got greedy, man. Shit was going smooth. They wanted more, man. They gave more work than Michael can handle by himself, man. He had to get his own crew. What were their names? Cruz, Hicks, and Thompson. Do those names sound familiar to you, Lieutenant? Three weeks ago, we fished Andre Cruz out of the water. Weighted down, bullet hole to the forehead. I've been there for days. Takes us a week to get a positive ID. Right? Chalk it up. He's up first. Second body, Carl Hicks, low life from the west side, found shot to death along the riverside. Ballistics on both nine millimeters. Now, I bet you that when we pull the slugs from Jacobs tonight, that we have a match with these other two crime scenes. And that's a series. OK? One, two, and three. What about the fourth man? Jack Juni Thompson. <laughs> He was shot to death tonight by the same cops that killed Michael Pipps. So there's a four-man crew running around out there, but you still haven't told us why they got burned. I'm not listening, man. This guy's a boxer, man. He was just using the money to supplement his income. And about three months ago, he had a fight club in the National. There's big-time managers in the crowd watching. He promises him the show, man. This kid starts getting all this attention, man. He got money falling out of his pocket, man. It's like he hit the lotto. So he starts taking the work from the cops. The problem is his crew gets hungry. And they start taking side work. All is unauthorized by the man. They call the men, they tell them if they don't take care of his crew, they're all going down. They're gonna kill him and his crew. Uh-oh. They're gonna leak it to the street that it was him and his crew that took all those scores. I mean, everybody be gunning for a shit, man. It looked like one gang related shooting after another. Jacobs, he just stumbled into some shit he wasn't ready for, man. Whoever pulled the trigger set this thing in motion. Yeah, well, that's what it looks like. You still haven't told us what the fighter's name is, Tina. Michael. Michael Pipps. Did Detective Jacobs said his partner know about this? I guess so. Hey, Detective Evans, yes or no? Yes, man. He knew. And you believed him? No. All right. What the fuck is the matter with this nigga, man? I thought it was street bullshit. The stuff that gangbangers and hood rats tell each other to justify their pathetic little lives. Detective. I've been on this job long enough to read between the lines, fellas. The only 
I think Tino gave us was the name of the shooter. This kid, Michael Pips. That's our guy. End of story. Tino wants to start spinning some fiction about dirty cops. I've heard it a thousand times. So you gave no way to his intel? That's not what I said. Look at what he actually gave us. This kid, Michael Pips, not only is he our shooter, but I guarantee you we can tie both him and his crew to over a dozen unsolved home invasions and burglaries within the past 12 months. That's what he gave us. A repeat suspect in the 6th Street homicide has been identified as one Michael Alexander Pips, Paul Ida, Paul Sam, known residence 1402 Franklin. I want an APB on the suspect's vehicle, an Oldsmobile Cutlass 1988, license plate David Charles Nora 239. What the fuck did he just do? He just called it in. He just painted a target on that kid's head. Listen, if what you said is even partially true, we need to get to Michael before anyone else does. And this is bullshit, man. Hey, you know those guys, Hicks and Cruz? Yeah, I know them. I just don't know where they at. Yeah, we do. They're dead, Tino. This thing started three weeks ago. Man, you got to get me out of here, man. You got to get me out of this city now. Listen, calm down, Tino, all right? As long as you're with us, nothing's going to happen to you, I promise. Where you taking me? I need to verify your information. Where you taking me? I'm taking you to Detective Evans. And if he's one of them, I'm dead meat, right? I need to talk to a DA. I need to talk to the Hey, family. shut up! You know, as long as you're in our custody, nothing is going to happen to you. You understand me? Nothing. So it was your decision to go to Evans? Yes. You knew the shooter was. You had a criminal informant in your custody who happened to be the only person that could connect that shooter with the murder of an undercover police officer. Why wouldn't you just bring him in? It wasn't as simple as that. It wasn't as simple as that. He asked for protective custody. You violated set protocols. Now he's laying on the slab in the morgue next to two dead officers and a 19-year-old suspect. Enlighten us. Look, if what he was saying was even remotely true, then the safest place for him was with us. That was a hell of a risk to take. Dead. Hey, 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 hey. The fuck is going on? Son of a bitch. He was learning case files. Where are they from? They're all over the place, man. Got a, got a B and E, home invasion, and a robbery case. All right, what are you thinking? I think that this means he knew what was going down. Oh, so you're actually believing this bullshit. Listen, they had to destroy every piece of evidence that could be tied back to What the fuck are you talking about? Check out the gun. Look at this. Yeah, what am I looking at? Old school, 45 caliber, right? So what? What do we carry? 40s, huh? Standard issue. Exactly. Now, how many self-inflicted gunshot wounds have you investigated, huh? Why would he what use What the that? fuck are you doing, man? You just contaminated a crime no. scene. This is bullshit. We don't have time to wait for ballistics. No fucking way, Shepard. No way my ass is going out of the line for you. Not like this. Look at the body, huh? Why would Evan shoot himself with a 45 caliber pistol and have the gun fall perfectly beneath his chair, huh? Use your head. Don't fucking do this, man. Look at that. Someone's trying to clean up. What the hell do you think you were doing? It wasn't any time. You compromised everything. Do you know that? I'm not going to cover up for your actions tonight, detective. No possible way. You're not listening to me. Evans couldn't have possibly killed himself. And thanks to your actions, we can't prove it. 
How could you let that happen? I tried to That's stop. not good enough. The entire scene is contaminated. I understand that, sir. There's no way to justify his actions, but they did yield results that were necessary for our ongoing investigation. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? It did have the appearance of someone trying to clean up after themselves. So now you're buying into the conspiracy? Hmm? What happened to all the hood right and street bullshit, detective? I said it had the appearance, Captain. Copy, go for 12. Report a possible sighting of a suspect vehicle. Officers en route. Charles, Edward 12, this is 5 Lincoln 9. What is your position? Charles, Edward 12 en route. Hold that position. What the fuck is going on? Evans is dead. What? He was burning case files. I understand how it's supposed to go down, man. Left, 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 take the bridge! I need to know, was Evans dirty? Was he on the tape? I don't know. I told you this was bullshit! Five, Lincoln Nine, Charles Edward 12, be advised, we're coming in from the northwest side. Wilcox in front. What is your position? Five, Lincoln Nine, now code three, in pursuit of suspect vehicle, eastbound on front. Repeat, east on front, nearing dead end, request immediate backup. Roger, five, Lincoln Nine, Charles Edward 12, three minutes ETA. Box in the suspect and hold the perimeter. All right, let's walk through it, Detective. God, it's like a blur. It happens so fast when you're actually in it, but. From my perspective, I see muzzle flashes coming from the suspect's vehicle. The patrol officers are already pinned down. They're calling for backup. Bullets crashed into our car. And I hear the engine rev just as we're spinning in behind the barricade. I duck below the dash. We evacuate the vehicle. Detective Shepard makes a move for Tino. I take up a position, draw my weapon, and follow the other officer's line of sight. I lean over the hood of the car. I have a visual on the suspect. I fire. How many shots? Four. No, five. Right at the center of mass. You definitely had a visual on the suspect? Yes, sir. Just so we're clear. Did you see the weapon in the suspect's hand before you fired? Yes. I only fired after he engaged us first. How many suspects did you see when you entered the scene? Just the one. The suspect's vehicle, right? Yeah, that's correct. The first responders reported multiple suspects in the area. Why would you go in there without backup? Look, if Michael was in that warehouse, then we needed to get to him before any of us. Even if you put yourself and your partner in harm's way? When we arrived, Jack Thompson was firing on us. Why? The officers had him pinned down. He was trapped. There was no way out for him. Why would he fire on us? Like you just said, he was trapped. They killed a cop earlier in the night. They were a four-man crew. It was Cruz, Hicks, Thompson, and Michael Pipps. Cruz and Hicks were dead already. It was in that tree line. Excuse me? Who pinned us down on the tree line? Who the tree line? Who said they were bangers? Wealthy street boys, vice lords. If it wasn't one, there was the other. No, we thought they were bangers because of what Tino told us. What do we really see? Fucking out here! Like I said, we saw three officers at the 6th Street Park shooting. He said that, he said three. Let's get back on track. 
Lerner, Kaminsky, and Johnson. Those are the same three officers that shot down Michael Pipps tonight. Where was the third officer when we arrived? I don't like what you have to say anyway. Where was Johnson? Johnson arrived after you entered the warehouse. It's right here. There's no way you could have seen them from your perspective, Detective. Oh, well, who confirmed his arrival? Lerner and Kaminsky, right? Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Say he saw three uniformed officers at Sixth Street earlier in the day. Yeah, he said three, but taken out of context could mean anything. So, what do you think he meant, Detective? It's gangland. Are you kidding me? I've had a series of shootings in the last couple of weeks. You tell me, Captain, have we stepped up patrols? What do you think happened out there? I think it was a righteous shoot. I think the suspect was agitated beyond the point of no return, and had Detective Shepard not got between us, I wouldn't hesitate to put the suspect down. Are you trying to talk him down? He had already fired on us both, Lieutenant. So, yes, if I had the chance to do it again, I'd kill his ass. Listen, we can circle around this again and again and look at it from every different angle, but this is going to come down to one important fact. He fired on us and continued to fire on us knowing we were police officers. Were those other officers justified in killing this kid? myself had they not with me and my partner be sitting there right now but wait a minute you're not listening to me because it's bullshit it's bullshit why because it doesn't fit in a tiny little box for you i'm done with this you know where i stand Final incident report. We expect your full cooperation. I can't commit to anything. Not until I speak to the administration. Sorry. So what are you saying? You're not even gonna look into this? We're moving on, detective. <laughs> what if Tino is right? What if what he's saying is true? We don't owe it to the public to make sure that our house is clean? There's no evidence that would warrant an investigation. You've made sure of that. Who could have set this whole thing in motion? It had to be, it had to be somebody with complete tactical control of all the units involved. Somebody shot one of ours. Now it's your responsibility to bring him to justice at all costs. Do you understand me? Who could have set this whole thing in motion? Are you listening to me, detective? sent us on a one-way mission to retaliate against a cop killer. This blood's on your hands. Don't worry. I have too much respect for the department to make this a public matter. I'll clean up these reports to avoid a criminal prosecution. There's no way I'm going to save your job. You're done. I don't know how I didn't even see this before. Search without a warrant, tampering with evidence, the death of a criminal informant while he's in your custody? That's just the beginning. It would have to be somebody that had complete access to all the criminal case files.
someone who could control all of the crime scenes. Someone who could control the timing of all of the patrol zones so there could be no witnesses. Hold down! Give me a gun! Give me a gun! Someone who could control every aspect of what was reported. I got a sworn statement from an officer in good standing. He says the only thing that happened that night was street justice. A retaliation shooting from a rival gang. It's that easy. And this is the only thing the public's gonna hear. Anything else, it's considered fiction. I'll need your badge and your gun. Hey. Briggs, you saw what happened tonight. It's over, Shepard. There's only one move to make. I expect nothing less than your full cooperation. And you'll have it. You write up the report, he'll sign his name, I guarantee it. Why? Why'd you do it? Get him out of here! Huh? He was innocent. You put that in your report, guys! Don't show shit. this! Don't do this here! He was innocent! Enough! Sit down the fuck Put out. that in your report, you son of a bitch! I'm not taking the fall for you. You. You saw what happened tonight. Don't let them bury him. Right. Don't let them bury him. All right. We're right here, moving towards the alcove. We turn the corner, shots fired, we duck behind the wall. Police officer, drop the gun! Now we're here. Who did you see? I didn't do this! I didn't kill that fucking cop! Drop the fucking gun, Michael. We have you surrounded. Who did you see? Just stay there and let me get a shot off. Shot off, Shepard. It's clear. Let me take this guy out. Just stay there. Who did you see? Who did you see? Who are you looking at? Who did you want to hear what was going on? seen you back here. Where were the shots? Right there. Right there. This is where you fired, you sons of bitches. Right over here. Right here. See 
assignments is a couple every time. 40 SOW. What did he say? 45 caliber, old school, right? So what? What do we carry? 40s, huh? Standard issue. What did you say? What did you tell them? Ballistics on both 9 millimeters. Now, I bet you that when we pull the slugs from Jacobs tonight, that we have a match with these other two crime scenes. And that's a series. OK? One, two, and three. Nine millimeters. I saw three cops. Can you identify them? Back it down, detective. Lower your weapon. Look at Michael. He's, he's lowering his gun. You blocked my shot, you son of a bitch. Wanted to make sure your boys were safe. Detective Stephen Briggs, Metro PD. I need the chief homicide detective. Connect me now. It's me. You meet me outside in five minutes. Okay. put that away. People get hurt all the time with those things. You brought everything, right? Yes, I did. You think you went a little overboard in there? We got away with it, didn't we? Crime scenes are all bunk. Lieutenant's running around trying to cover his ass. We're free and clear, my friend. Besides, you think they're really going to believe a word I said? I got it. So, when do I get my cut? You get me across the Canadian border first, and then we'll talk next steps. That's bullshit. I'm the one that took all the risk last night. Let me tell you something. If it wasn't for me, my partner would have shot all of your guys in the tree line. We'd be in the fucking shit right now. You understand? That's not to mention that your staging of a suicide, <laughs> yeah, leaves a lot to be desired, OK? I've been cleaning up your mistakes all night. Mistakes? Yeah. 
Your mistake is you should have never let more than Michael Pitts in this thing. He couldn't have taken all of those houses down alone. With his crew? They could have exposed all of us. They didn't. Listen, Captain, this thing is over, okay? And there's nothing that can tie us back to any of it. So don't go playing Monday morning quarterback now. Right, get your ass over that border. You are gone forever, you understand me? Yeah, I wouldn't be complaining that much if I was you. I am about to make you a very rich man. I'm about to be. We need to clear traffic ahead. We are moving to point.
Tell you the truth, I didn't think you gave a fuck, Briggs. Let the animals kill each other, right? Yeah. Didn't count on you knowing Jacob. What are you gonna do now, detective? one that can connect me to this crime. The fucked up thing is I wanted to include you in this, Briggs. I did. Everyone else said you were too much of a loose cannon. What do you say? I'll make you a rich man. Still plenty of money to go around. Huh? What do you say? What do you say, Briggs? Uh, you're trapped, Shepard. There's no way out for you. Oh, no, I know this thing go! Take it from here, Lieutenant. You don't sound convinced. Everything fits too perfectly. Keep him happy. somebody else involved and somebody that knows our system inside and out
of your right, Detective. 